I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, shut, shut up. More specific than that. I'm about to see right now. Oh nah, not really. <laughs> shit, I done grew up all over, man. Like, so, uh, yeah, all that. Is this, is, this man a pure, right? still reside. If I listen, bro, I don't know. If I, let, I don't know. In that area today? This man nah, a pure, right? Yo, he getting interviewed. Well, but I still be there. <laughs> I be everywhere, though, at the same time. What type of interview? Let me yeah, see. I live in MIE. Why DJ Smart sound like that? Feeling like I'm in my age. What age were you when you started traveling outside of Miami? Shit, probably like 16, 17. And what was your reasoning back then when traveling first started for you? Shit, just going places for real, you feel me? Got me a little bit of cheese and shit. I'm just a nigga from the hood. I, you know, I just wanted to see other shit. Now, what was that really like growing up in Miami for you? Why you sound like this? Why you sound hold on, hold on. Let me listen. Let me up listen. into the age of me or in general. For you, up into the age of sixteen, what was that like? Man, just doing badass jit shit. Like, man, when I was a jit, I was doing all types of just crazy shit. I, I, bro, man, I used to do throw shit, BB gun fights. You feel me? Banging at <laughs> people's doors, throwing rocks at people's window on the highway and busting that shit, then running back to the crib. All types of just throw shit. Damn. Damn. <laughs> it's been a lady. out the corner store. All types of shit. Like, no, it's kind of shit. You feel me? Now, looking back, where did, where did that stem from? Why were you doing those actions back then? Bro, when you a kid, you do whatever you want, bro. Like, I don't know what the fuck. We was just doing that shit. That, hey, that shit just be fun, though. It be fun for real, though. That shit be an adrenaline-ass rush. Like, it's probably one time <laughs> we probably... Adrenaline. <laughs> 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 Think about you a little shit, bro. Damn, now you, got, now you got me saying this, damn. It's the floor. You look like he just running around. Doing bad shit. <laughs> for no reason. We just really Faster, so you gonna candy, catch a kid? Like, you gonna catch a kid? Talk about that shit for a whole week straight. Like, we're just doing all types of shit. It's a lot of shit, bro. I did a lot of shit as a jit. For real. Was it boredom? Was it bro, curiousness? Kids, man, listen, man. When you run the streets, bro, you bound to do anything, bro. You feel me? That's all, that's all I know. Like, you just bound to do anything. Anybody tell you that. You don't go outside and be like, yeah, man, y'all boys, we finna do this today. Fuck nah, bro. The day just come along. You feel me? <laughs> come on. One day we might hoop at the park. One day we might be on some fuck shit. One day we might just do anything. Now, how were you able to survive that upbringing? Uh, shit. <laughs> Damn. Talk about survive. That's a, that's a good ass question. Like, shit, nigga just survived. And I'm just saying that on some just thankful shit, because... Man, the way Miami set up, man, that shit crazy. Just the way life set up, you feel me? It's a lot of niggas I know who locked up right now. It's a lot of niggas I know who done been locked up ever since I was 14. Now, I done make the call back to the hood. Them boys telling me, yeah, bro, JIT still locked up. Damn. You feel me? Yo, hey, what's good? Who, 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 Damn. What you calling it? Damn. Oh, man, JIT died. Damn. You feel me? One of my dogs locked up for right now. On some shit where me and this nigga was just together. Next thing you know, man, it just take that one little split second shit that just fuck you up. Now you locked up. Three attempted murders. You feel me? He gone. He probably ain't never finna come out. You feel me? So it just be shit like that. Like, nigga just blessed, I guess. Damn. I need a bed. I got those. No, oh, my shit gone. All right, dude. Let's go. No, you just be. Need that bitch. Yeah, yes, see. no real answer to that shit. No key to your survival back then? Nah. Just blessed. And speaking of blessed, do you follow a religion? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this man, bro. This man. <laughs> I gotta see. Turn the camera around real quick. I gotta see who the interview is, bro. And why? Because there are some that don't. Man, it's some that don't, bro, but it's like, 
Man, I done been in a lot of situations where it's like, damn, somebody watching over me. You feel me? I done got, I done got shot at. I done got locked up. I done got all types of shit. You feel me? When it's like, it been times where all the odds been stacked against but me. See. Like, I still came through on some crazy shit. Like, like, damn, what the fuck? I don't know. Shit just be, nigga just highly favored. So it's like, somebody watching over me. Were you raised to believe in God? Um, uh, shit, yeah. Pretty sure everybody is, right? Nah. Shit, I ain't not. Crazy. <laughs> and then, what? Some, what dang, they, what, what they be teaching? Are they, they like, just raising? Damn. Ain't even thinking about it like that. Mother's side of the family, father's side of the family, both? Uh, it ain't no, it ain't no really they right. Them, no. Another um, religion. I understand that, but like it ain't really on no shit. Like I yeah, man, like atheist like, race. That's crazy. Had, like really, like some I people forgot. be really religious and shit. It just I just always knew God was real. You feel me? Nobody had to tell me. Nobody had to show me. I just knew it. You feel me? So yeah. You mentioned there was a moment when you were shot at. Yeah. Were you the intended target? Man. To this day, it sounds crazy. I don't even know. You feel me? It was just on some crazy ass shit. Like, and it just happened so fast. Like, I was just at the gas station one night. Not the gas was, station, bro. Damn. Just vibing with my dog and shit. And we just big posting, like, just moving sloppy. Hey, this was like when I first started getting famous. You feel me? So I'm still moving like a regular nigga, because I'm a regular nigga. You feel me? So boom, we just at the gas station and shit. We just blowing out a J and shit. We just big cooling it, like you feel me? We in the gas station. We just vibing, like just posted up way too long. You feel me? We sitting there talking, grabbing drinks. We high as fuck. We chilling though, like we on point. But and then, boom, I, we went to go pay for our shit. And next thing you know, boom, we hop back in the whip. I had an Audi, crank that bitch up. We was just vibing. And I'm talking to my dog. Sheesh. Uh, and out of nowhere, I'm high as fuck. Out of nowhere, I just see two beams just running down on the whip. You feel me? And my instinct just kicked fast. I said, man, what the fuck? <laughs> Bing. Start sliding. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. That's not crazy. Next thing you know, I just heard, bah, 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 bah. Swear through the intersection. I'm gone. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Cutting up. Like, I swear through that bit so fast where it's like, you feel me? A car could have hit me, but like I said, bro, nigga just be lucky. So I just mm, hit the intersection. He really could have, like, he just jumped out. Uh, nah. Sliding. I'm like, man, what the fuck? I'm looking at my dog, and I just hear him like, yo, bro, check if you ain't get hit. I'm like, I ain't even, I'm zoned out. Like, you feel me? So I'm just sliding. Mm, 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 mm. Gone. Hit I-95. Push back to the hood. And, like, I'm high as fuck the whole time. So I'm just bending blocks, getting loose. Like, you feel me? I'm getting gone. Cause I'm just <laughs> I know that but adrenaline adrenaline and that, that but gone. Man, Just fuck? gone. Right now, I'm thinking these niggas probably following In the me. Audi oh no. Mm -mm -mm. Getting loose. Pulled up to my dog crib. <laughs> I was thinking they shot in the air. You feel me? And to this day I'm thinking like, man, shit, maybe them boys could have knew who I was. Maybe them boys just trying to rob me. Like, you feel me? This Miami for you. Like, shit go down quick. So boom. I get to my dog crib. I jumped out the whip. I said, man, what the fuck? He said, yo, that shit crazy. So I jumped out the whip the whole time. I'm thinking they probably just shot in the air because we heard them boys shoot. So I'm thinking they probably shot in the air because they were mad. They Damn, nah. Man, jumped out the whip, bro. I looked at my car. Man, they shot at the whip. I said, damn, what the fuck? I looked at my dog. I said, damn, boy, them boys shot at the real. He said, what? <laughs> Nah, that's the crazy crazy. thing was, what? man. You boom, see the, no, nah, see the, like, you look at you, like, maybe, nah. Look at that shit, you like, damn. My, uh, my car got hit up with a few bullets. One of the bullets almost knocked my dog head off. Like, it was this close to his head, tight shit. Like, he's sitting in the passenger seat. That shit pierced right through the door, tight shit. But it pierced on the side of the door. That bitch almost hit his head on some crazy shit, like. You feel me? I couldn't even imagine how that shit would've went down on some throw shit. So, man, it was just a whole big thing. Like, I had to leave my wet there and shit. 
and like I ended up going back to the hood the next day and shit. I ended up telling all them boys what happened and shit. And like them boys was like, man, what the fuck? Like that shit sound crazy as fuck the way I was explaining it to them boys. But it was nah, a nah. story, so them boys That just sound like what? I was just looking at the dope. And since that day, them boys told me like, man, kid, bro, you be moving too sloppy, bro. Like, you ain't no regular nigga no more, bro. You keep forgetting that. And since that day, I just realized like, damn. I ain't no regular nigga no more. You feel me? So, like, mm -hmm, to this day, that shit just, I think about that shit all the time. Still be on point. Like, now, since I used to move so, like, casual now, now I just really just PTSD on some shit. Like, I just know shit go down fast, so I got the Glock in my pocket, and I'm just keeping my head on the swivel at all times. Like, people always be like, damn, nigga, why you looking so hard? Nigga, I'm just looking. I'm sorry. I done got popped out on my phone. And that bitch was fast. And I told my dog, I said, man, I ain't going to lie. If you was in this passenger seat, you probably would have choked on us, bro. We would have been done for. So I'm glad I was in the passenger seat. I'm not told him. Told him. <laughs> Talk about told him. You feel me? So Damn. nigga made out that situation. He said, if you was in the passenger seat, A couple of told. items to reference here. Did you count, in fact, how many bullets it actually was that struck your vehicle at that point? Um, probably like three, but them boys were letting that shit loose. And what age were you at the time when this happened? Man, probably like 18. And damn. you're over a million subscribers. Yeah, like, come on, 18, you're not even like, damn. Subscribers at this point on YouTube. Yeah. But how many subscribers did you have back then at that point? Um, probably like 500, 400. And for those in the audience getting to know you for the very first time, care to share your YouTube channel name? Um, Miami the Kid. And you also mentioned Hood. Was there a name to this Hood back then that you're referencing? <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Yo. <laughs> I know exactly. Yo, okay, I understand. <laughs> oh, my God. The Hood. I ain't gonna drop the on that. Nah. Now, there are some people who say things like, don't know if I'll make it to see the age of 18, or 21, maybe 25. Did you have any of these thoughts yourself growing up in that environment? Um, shit. <laughs> I just know I'm to see infinity, like, you feel me? That's just how I think. I know I'm gonna grow to be old. Be a rich ass old man, man, so like, ah. No All right, let's get through this, man. Know. It's almost there. Hypothetically speaking, what would you have said to your younger self back then? And maybe that moment when that shooting took place at 18. So, shit. I'm going to tell, I ain't even going to say what I, I tell, I'm a, I would tell myself. I'm going to tell you what I actually tell my young niggas for real, in real life. I just tell them boys all the time, bro, like, man, just stay up out of the way, bro. You feel me? This shit be thrown out here, bro. Just stay up out the way. Y'all boys get y'all bread. Stay up out the way. You feel me? Every time they hit, talk to me. That's what you gonna get from me every time. Stay up out the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you? That's good that? advice, man. Stay up out the way. You feel me? Get your bread. And vibe. You feel me? Don't get yourself in no grit shit. You feel me? Trying. You know. Even though that's these niggas live that type of lifestyle, but still. I try to tell him, man, look, bro, just focus on your bread. And it's like, man, when you get money, you going to kind of stay out of the way. You feel me? Because you got paper. Like, that's the whole goal of doing anything. Niggas sell drugs. Niggas do this. Niggas do that. Man, look, stay up out of the way. You feel me? Get your bread. Stay up out of the way. 